Now, like I said in the beginning of this video, every Arduino has three modules. First being the power module, which is over here. Second being the main microcontroller module. And the third being the bootloader IC, which helps in programming the main microcontroller. Now, we are not using this IC on our Eagle board. So instead of this, we'll be using CP2102, which is a USB to TTL serial adapter. Now, there are a lot of variants available in the available in the online market, but make sure your CP2102 has the DTR pin, which is which helps in auto resetting the Arduino and you don't need to click on this reset button every time you upload. So just make sure it has DTR, RxD, TxD, a 5 volt logic supply and ground. Now we need to make our board compatible to this pin out, which is this, these five pins, ground, 5 volt, TxD and RxD. So let's just come back to our schematic. So we already have VCC and ground. Now I need a header basically a pin header so I'll just type in header I need a, a 5 pin header Adafruit has a 6 pin one which I don't need so I'm going to keep on searching for the pin head library yeah here we go the pin head 1 cross 5 yeah this one works so I'll just add it somewhere over here and I'll hit escape quit adding now I need to use a 0.1 microfarad capacitor in series with the reset pin and then connect it to the DTR pin on your CP2102 now it may sound complicated but it can be done easily like this so I'll just add a capacitor escape I'll add the value right away over here which is 0.1 and this thing needs to be connected all the way to one of the jumpers over here instead of making such big connections i'll just drop it right over here and i'll name this pin as dtr and i'll add a label which says ddr and i'll repeat the same thing over here again instead of going all the way i'll just make a small connection over here I will name the same pin as DTR so now it connects the two pins and I'll add a label so if you want to see whether you have a valid connection you can use the I tool over here and click on the net it highlights over here so here we go we have a valid connection over here Now let's connect the RX and TX pin. I'll just name it RX and TX. And not to forget the label. And I'll do the same thing over here. So here we go. Always check whether you have a valid connection. Now I'll just connect this to ground and VCC. So I can just say VCC and ground. 
and so I am done adding each and everything which is required on my Arduino board now the only thing remaining is some headers on which I can solder some female box strips which can be done easily using the same pin head library so let's just go ahead and complete that Here we go. We have finished adding all the components to the schematic. Now this thing needs to be arranged uh, in a more professional way so that you can um, just come to know by reading a big label on top of this like this thing is a power module, this thing is the main microcontroller IC and this thing is a set of jumpers. So we shall add a thing called as frame. So I'm just gonna type in frame and come down to spark fun aesthetics and select a4 and i'll just drop this thing somewhere in between so we go it adds a sweet frame so i'm going to uh, do a group move first i'm going to select all these things and then i'm going to use the move tool hold down control and do a right click so can move this thing over here repeat the same with about now I'm going to separate this thing with a line tool uh, I'm gonna select symbols and let's say long dash let's make a separation over here okay let's make another separation somewhere over here there we go so now we have some nice subsections now let's use the text tool say power module click on ok now the size is pretty small so let's crank it up yeah let's change the font to vector power module hit escape let's say jumpers 
and programming so it's not going to fit so let's just add a okay this thing looks much better let's say micro controller module and hit cancel now let's bring this thing to the center select the whole thing and let's hit save so this is what your complete schematic looks like now you can print this thing on a PDF now there's a thing called a scale factor I'll just bring the scale factor to 1 I want A4 okay and let's just say landscape yeah this thing fits perfect and the name of my circuit is basic do you know so let's just see how this thing looks on a PDF here we go so this is your sweet PDF don't forget to add the designer name and all those things so here we go we have completed the schematic and it's looking pretty awesome pretty neat and clean now we can easily go to the board layout to see what all components have been laid out over there but in case while routing you come to know that you have forgot something to add you can anytime come back to this file and check or add some more components so here we go uh, I'll just click on the schematic slash BRD I'll say the board basic underscore do you know dot BRD does not exist shall I create from schematic I'll say yes and here we go this is the board where we have so all the unrouted components over here now you have to tune into the next tutorial to see how the routing is done and how the PCB is made so thank you for watching this one like subscribe share and come back for the next tutorial